you did read the title correctly, I am a professional photographer and I have never shot with film before. Until now. What is going on everybody? If you're new around here, my name is Finn Badgley. I'm a commercial fashion portrait photographer and all around content creator. And today I'm showing you my journey of shooting film photography for the first time. Now, this has been a video that I have teased in quite a few videos over the past year, pretty much. I started shooting film at the beginning of 2021 and I just basically shot a bunch of rolls of film and didn't have them processed until recently. And now that I've got all the photos back, I'm gonna share not only the images, but also the process of it all with you. So that way you can see what it's like for somebody who's been a professional photographer for multiple years using film for the first time. Now I have used like disposable cameras and stuff, but I kind of don't count that because I, it was kind of like point shooting. There wasn't too much thought that went into it. It was before I was a professional photographer, so. Now, right off the bat, I used three different cameras for this. Camera number one is the Ricoh Singlex 2. This is my dad's film camera that he has passed down to me and is pretty much my favorite and go-to 35 millimeter film camera. Listen to the sound of that shutter. Currently in this, I have a roll of Cinestill 800 tungsten speed film that I'm using for a particular little project that I'm about to go into, which of course we'll be making a video on later on. So make sure to subscribe for when that guy comes out and hit the notification bell. So that way you know when those videos come out. Now the second camera that I used is this guy here. This is the Kodak Vigilant Junior 620 medium format film camera. This thing folds down into your pocket like so. It is not much bigger than my phone. Like look look at the size comparison here. It's a little bit wider, but I can literally stick this in my back pocket and have it with me everywhere. Now the difference here is this guy, you'll only get about eight photos to a roll and each roll is more expensive than your typical 35 millimeter roll. You're getting significantly fewer photos that also cost significantly more per photo but I absolutely love the look of it. Something that I find really interesting is it's so not perfect. Everything is maybe a little bit out of focus or a little hazy or a little something. There's like some dust and scratches, but it's so, I'm so used to everything being clinical. The sharpness is tack sharp. Everything is perfectly in focus. Everything is bang on and just the way it should be. And this isn't that and for photos of life or creative portraits or anything like that, getting a couple photos on this is absolutely amazing. And I love that I can take it with me everywhere. And the last camera is this guy. This is the Nikon FA 35 millimeter film camera. And I think I only shot one roll on this. Actually, if you saw one of my recent shorts, it's the roll of film that I almost kind of sort of did destroy. Um, Basically, there's a little button here that you need to press when you wind the film. And if you don't press it, when you go to wind it, you'll just tear the film out of the canister and then you'll have a free roll of film back here that if you open up the back of the camera will be exposed. And luckily I realized what would happen. So I basically salvaged most of the roll of film. Some of it got a little weird and there was a little bit of light leaks and stuff going on, but it kind of worked and it made it a really interesting, weird and artsy look that I'm kind of into. Those are the cameras and here are some of the photos. Now here's my thing that I've realized with film photography is that I love being able to just carry around a camera and take photos of whatever I want where digital, I use it mainly for my work and for other things like that. And for a while I carried around a digital camera to capture moments of life, but I realized what would happen is I would take a photo what happens when you take that photo? What happens even if you take a photo on your phone? You take the photo and what's the next step? You look at it and suddenly picture this. So let's say this is a digital camera. I take a photo. The first thing I do is look at the back of the screen. Maybe I show it to people and they go, oh, that's a great photo. Or maybe take the photo. Oh, that's too dark. Change a couple settings. Oh, that one's not in focus. 
and you keep doing this the whole time for a couple minutes and it takes you out of the moment. And that's not what I wanna do. I've really been making an effort to be more present with the people in my life and film photography is actually a way that I've been able to do that because what happens if you take a film photo? Click. There's nothing to, there's nothing to look at here. There's no screen to take you out of that moment. So for me, I take the photo and that's it. Sure, I can wind it and take another one if I want, but you take the photo and you're back in that moment immediately. It keeps you present, it keeps you in the moment. And I love that about it. It's something that I can take a couple extra film photos whenever I'm on a photo shoot, just because, just to have like a cool film shot that is of this dope look. And maybe I can compare, oh, this is what the film shot looks like, this is what the actual, this is what the digital photo looks like. Actually, I'm gonna be doing a bit of an experiment with this. I wanna, I've started shooting a bunch of Portra 400 and I want to kind of make a couple Lightroom presets that are very similar to that. Lightroom Capture One, any kind of editing software, just dial it in to really get that film look for some of the photos that I make because I feel like it's a really interesting look and I'd like to be able to recreate that. So this is a good way to do that. Just take a couple film shots whenever you're on a shoot and compare them with your digital photos and then try to get them pretty close. You do that long enough and you can pretty much dial in your settings so when you're in the edit, you can get it right bang on for how it'll look. And if I do that, maybe, just maybe, I'll show you the preset. We'll see, we'll see. Now, the other thing too is it's very unintimidating and taking some photos, this isn't super intimidating. Now, this on the other hand is. Now, granted, there are smaller lenses you can get for digital cameras and you can use stuff like the Fuji X100V, whatever the name of it is. I'm, I'll put the right name of it here. Or digital Leicas and that kind of thing. But I just like being able to carry this around, not really think too much about it. It's very unimposing. Just take some photos as I'm out. Actually, oddly enough, I was walking around and because this just kind of looks interesting, there was a guy who is a model and actor, musician, etc who saw the camera and was like, hey, you take photos? I was like, yeah, you have a dope outfit. He's like, cool, wanna take some photos? So we did, we had an impromptu photo shoot and we made connections through me just having a camera on me. And me wanting to take more photos in general of life, having a film camera is a great way to do that and it's already made me more connections in my life and is really enriched that. And now I have these beautiful memories that I can look back on. And it's not something that's gonna be all weird because I took it on a phone that it's super dark and the quality is not gonna be as great. And it's not gonna be absolutely perfect because I took it on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera and I took 10 shots to get the perfect one. I just pull it out, take the photo and it is what it is. And if it doesn't look great, that's okay. The moment still exists and it's immortalized forever. And that's really a great thing. It's also so great to have these moments and then wait weeks or months, get your film process and then have it scanned and then send your friends the photos of when you're hanging out or whatever. And they get so pumped on them because they forgot you were even taking photos. Why? Because you were so present in the moment. And then they look at them and they're like, these are so great. Now also this film journey for these six roles that I shot has been an interesting one because at the time I was actually in a relationship with somebody and then that kind of fell apart and what have you. But I started the process of this in that and this has been a interesting way to document how that journey happened, how we kind of fell apart and now where I am now in life these, it's a great way to really have a timeline of your life and remember all these moments. Some of them that you do want to remember, some of them that may hurt a little bit to remember, but they're memories nonetheless. And it's such an incredible thing to share with people. And honestly, thank you for letting me share it with you today. It's something that is so beautiful. And if you've been on the fence about getting into film photography, maybe just Try it, pick up a film camera, pick up some film. Doesn't have to be anything special. It doesn't have to be Portra 400. It can be just your regular standard film of any kind. Whatever film stock is the cheapest at Walmart or something. Just try it out. 
you never know what can happen. I was actually against film for a couple years and that's why it took me a while to get into it. I thought it was too expensive, which it is expensive. But, and I thought it just, it was, why would I do that when I can just take a photo immediately on digital and take 10 a second if I feel like it? But there's something about it. It's, it feels really honest and true. And this might be me sounding like a pretentious artist, but there's something really real about it. And I love capturing my life on film and being able to share it with all of you. With all that said, thank you for watching and indulging me, a professional photographer, shooting film for the first time. There were a lot of ups and downs, but I think we got it pretty much figured out now. Also, these cameras do have light meters in them and you can put a little battery in the bottom of them to make it work and everything so you can see what the exposure is gonna be like. I realized the fun thing about being a professional photographer for quite a while is that you learn you can pretty much guess settings. And for the majority of these photos, I never really used a light meter. This is a low key flex. If you're getting, if you're starting out in photography, maybe don't do this. Um, and even myself, I was off quite a few times and had either underexposed or overexposed images, but film is pretty forgiving where you can bring it back if you need to. Um, so I would just kind of look at what it looks like outside and know based on what it would be if I took a digital photo, know what my film stock is. So what speed, I'm using what ISO that would translate to in a digital setting. Set my shutter speed and aperture accordingly and take the photo. And it worked out pretty well, not to toot my own horn or anything, but a lot of these images, they, I guessed the exposure on pretty much all of them and didn't turn out too bad. Now that I am done tooting my own horn, thank you so much for watching. Hope you gain some value or entertainment out of this, especially if you've been considering shooting film for the first time yourself, some of the different ups and downs that you can go through and just using it as a way to capture life, to create art and just take photos. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell to be notified when you post new videos. Drop a like if you like this kind of thing, you wanna see more videos about film photography and my journey with it in the future, cause I'll be making them, trust me. Comment down below if you've recently started shooting film. If you haven't, if you've been on the fence, what are your thoughts on it? Let me know. I'd love to chat with you guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. So you never miss an upload. Work hard. Rest often. And as always, I will see you on the next one.